In a distant galaxy resides a planet called Vidaris, an ancient land of myth and wonder where humans, just like us, have lived among other creatures for more than 10,000 years, some more dangerous than others. In the last two decades, Vidaris has seen a concerning increase in its population of idiots. Is it a coincidence or a result of something more sinister? The Interstellar Report is here to investigate. I'm standing beside a house where a young man Finnegan lives. According to the local researchers, he is a perfect example of an idiot. Let's see if he's home. Hello, hello, anybody home? We are from Earth. Could you come out and tell us a little about yourself? This is a camera. It lets other people see you. Is there anything you'd like them to know about you? <coughs> yeah, come! <gasps> oh. look, at, look at what I have. My, my Celinda told me that if I bring her every flower from every place in the world, she will marry me. Uh, this, this is what I had so far. <laughs> How much time have you spent on this project? Uh, four years? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, um, Miss Selinda married my friend three years ago and she has two kids now but I know her, her, her heart is mine and <laughs> we will get married one day. <laughs> How long will it take you to find all the flowers? Uh, 30 years. Yeah. Of course I could die before then. The road is quite dangerous. But anything for my Celinda. Oh, I love her so much and she loves me. And we will get married one day. Oh. There are many possible reasons for people's stupidity. The most likely one is this. This river runs here from the northern mountains where a promiscuous scientist works on a cure for magic sickness and dumps his magical waste into the river that carries it down here, where it settles into little puddles and the people who live here use it for drinking water. In this cup we have toxic waste from magical experiments, minerals from the mountains and a substance that's newly discovered and produced by a creature who lives in these puddles of water. There. See? It is a creature that hates being stepped on and um, should be kept at a safe distance. Would you want to drink this water? <laughs> no, no, darling. My experiments are anything but toxic. I spent the best years of my life researching the, those various substances we use and they are harmless. Respectable people from well-developed countries have been using them for many years for various things. Take agantheniums, for example. They have been using the same scientific formulas for their genetic mutations for many centuries. And nobody there is stupid. Of course, I would have to look into the various research you're speaking of here to be able to tell you 
why these people are stupid. But if I were to give you my best guess, in my professional opinion, these people are simply affected by their living conditions. You see, the people of the Kingless Lands are poor and uneducated. So they are born into an environment that breeds stupidity. So you see, there's nothing controversial about it. It's going to rain tomorrow. Yeah. Storm is coming. Uh -huh. yeah. How can you tell? Uh -huh. um, I just do this. Yes. Oh, shit. Uh. Oh. Magic is another possible reason for one's stupidity. Humans with magic often suffer from many disturbing side effects of such gifts. As they say, nothing comes without a price. Yes, of course it's magic. You see, that is the very thing I'm working on curing. So, there is no way my scientific waste could be the cause of this. After weeks of investigation, the Interstellar Report has witnessed a concerning sight, leaving us with more questions than answers. I can't believe you have tracked me into this again. Can't you do this without killing people? Careful, brother. You know what happens when you question my motives. Aren't you going to help me? Burying the dead is your job. <clears throat> Who can we trust and does anyone even know the truth are questions we are left with. However, the least concerned folks seem to be the victims themselves. This is all from us today and we will be back with more answers whenever we can.